It's time for another top five. So here are five ways a Pro XC racer's bike is different to yours. As always, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that little bell icon so that every time we upload a video, you get a notification. We all know that road pros use some pretty hardcore gearing, but we reckon most people could get away with having an okay ride on a bike that a road pro uses. However, when it comes to Pro XC racers, we'd wager that by the absolute strongest of riders, most of us would struggle to turn the frankly insane chainring sizes they often use. A 38 tooth chainring is a common sight at the start line of any World Cup race. As you can imagine, not many people can spin their way up a steep 20% climb using a 38. But perhaps the craziest gearing we've ever seen on a Pro XC racer's bike was back in 2018 when we spotted French pro Stefan Tempier using a 34 tooth road cassette on the rear of his Bianchi hardtail. That is totally mind boggling, even among the supreme talent of the World Cup race circuit. And we wouldn't recommend it for laps of your local trails. Just like on the road, Pro XC racers spend plenty of time working on their core strength and flexibility, which in turn, allows them to achieve some truly hardcore positions on their bikes. Former Olympic champion Yaroslav Kulhavi is a prime example of this. Just check out the tilt on that saddle, not something we'll be trying anytime soon. He also runs a long, slammed, minus 17 degree stem. Why? Well, we have no idea, but it obviously works for him, so who are we to argue? From a distance, the tyres on a Pro XC racer's bike look pretty stock. They run comparable widths to regular riders, and most pros now run tubeless 100% of the time. However, on closer inspection, and after chatting to pro mechanics, it becomes clear that they are anything but stock. Pros often use custom tyres from their respective sponsors, which have a stickier compound and a higher TPI count than regular tyres. TPI stands for threads per inch. The more TPI your tyre has, the more supple the carcass is, and that should make for a faster rolling and more predictable ride. We expect these tyres don't come cheap, hence why they're not available to the public. But at least that gives you an excuse next time a pro flies past you on the trails. Hey, they were on a higher TPI tyre than me, what was I supposed to do? For those with enough money, it's possible to go out and buy a bike that's almost the exact replica of what the pros ride. But certain special riders, we're talking world or Olympic champions and World Cup winners, get totally custom paint jobs that the general public never get to buy. This obviously helps the riders, and thus their sponsors, stand out in an XC race, where just about every rider is on a beauty of a top spec bike. And we suspect it could be a way of giving a rider a psychological edge over the competition. Different riders respond to different forms of motivation, but for many, the idea of having a one-off bike designed especially for them may well give them an extra half a percent of performance. As we all know, in pro racing, that half a percent can make all the difference. Either way, custom paint jobs are great to look at and a fun way for pros to add some personality to their rides. Head to the pits of any XC World Cup race and you'll see a hive of activity, with mechanics working almost endlessly on their team riders' bikes. This is in an effort to keep them in the absolute best working condition possible. Does the tyre have a tiny nick in it? Then it needs to be replaced. Has the fork been used in muddy or sandy conditions? Then it needs to be serviced or rebuilt. The same goes for drivetrains, pedals, bearings and bushings. Pro mechanics keep their riders bikes in perfect working order. As we all know, we don't have a pro mechanic, with an almost limitless amount of spare parts at home. We do most of it ourselves and have to balance the cost, time and time spent riding our bikes into the equation. So chances are a pro's bike will be in much better condition than yours, feeling just like new every time they jump on the pedals. What do you think of our list? Did we get it right or should we have picked something else? As always, let us know in the comments, don't forget to like and subscribe and click that little bell icon so that every time we upload a video you get a notification. Goodbye!